students how are you doing today my name is chai shri and i teach muat at college tingkatan 6 tun fatima durian daun melaka some of you may not be sure of your future career choice What are the jobs of the people in these two pictures? One is a nurse while the other lady is a cashier. What are the similarities and differences? The similarity is both jobs involve meeting a lot of people. while an important difference is that nursing is a career that will still be very much in demand in the near future cashiers on the other hand may be obsolete in the near future as we are moving towards a cashless society today's lesson topic will cover on career choice before we explore the topic about career choice let us learn three strategies for better listening a listening for specific information b identifying key words and phrases from the dialogue c selecting the best answer from the selection of answers what specific information specific information is often factual in nature For example, a name, a place, a profession, an object, a number, or a quantity. When you listen for specific information, you need to have some idea of what you are listening for before you listen and while you're listening examples of specific information include hours names dates places occupations for example who is mrs banu mrs banu works as a legal clerk in a lawyer's firm It is located in Melaka Raya. She goes to work by car. Her husband is a legal dispatch clerk, while her daughter is a legal secretary. Question: Who is Mrs. Banu? A legal clerk. B legal secretary. C legal dispatch clerk answer is yes students you got it right a legal clerk question is asking about mrs banu's profession or occupation and not who her husband is and of course he is a legal dispatch clerk It is also not her daughter who is a legal secretary. So students, the tips is you need to be clear about what information you are listening for. Look for that specific kind of information and disregard irrelevant details. narrow down important details to get the specific information identify 
Key words and phrases. Most of the students think about the key words in listening, but most of the candidates forget to find the key words. Following some strategies, you can improve your listening score. This is because the listening paper is multiple choice in nature. First of all, A. Read the question before you listen. A good number of students read the questions and instructions before listening. Certainly, you read the question and of course, you underline the keywords or maybe not. I would like to tell you that it may cause mistakes. I'm not suggesting you not to do this, but think about these strategies first. B. How to identify key words. Let's study an example. For the speaker, how are great teachers treated? Great teachers come from all walks of life. Some were outstanding students through their formative education, had great teachers as role models, and knew that they wanted to grow up and enter the profession. Other great teachers didn't find learning to be easy and had to work hard to find success. And it was the teachers who helped them that also inspired them to enter the profession. Teaching is not a job. It is a profession and most teachers do not live it in the classroom when they go home. They take it with them to the grocery store when they see parents and kids. Great teachers get treated like rock stars when their students see them at the mall. There were a few times when I heard my name get yelled in the grocery store and it was a student who could not believe that I left the classroom because they thought I slept at school. It was the only time I felt like a rock star. Which word will you take from this question as a key word? I think most of you will take great teachers as key word, but it may be a mistake. The key word is treated and for the speaker. One needs to listen carefully to when the speaker relates to himself to find the answer on how great teachers are treated according to the speaker. Here, the speaker talked about how great teachers are treated as rock stars and related to an incident when he was treated as a rock star at the mall or at the grocery store. C. Selecting the best answer from the selection of answers. Usually, students find it difficult to select the best answer. During your first listening, you will be listening for specific information while practicing active listening. What does 
active listening mean? It means to pay active attention to what is being said. Identifying key words and phrases. Write down the key information and then select the best answer from the selection of answers. Selecting the best answer means not only eliminating the wrong answers, but the answer that best answers the question. For example, if the question asks, who? You are looking for an answer that includes the name of a person. But if the question asks, why? You will be looking for an answer that gives a reason. Listen to a school counsellor giving a talk about jobs that will be in demand in the future. As you listen, choose the correct answer for questions 1 to 3. Good morning, students. I am your new school counsellor. And today, I would like to share with you about what are the jobs that will be in demand in the future? As many people have lost their jobs during the recent lockdown. Being aware of this crucial information will help you to decide on which course to enroll in university. As new students who have just enrolled in Form 6, you must first decide on a career field you would like to pursue. This means that you need to decide on a group of similar occupations that require a related qualification or skills that you will need to possess. After that, decide which institution offers the best courses in that area. It need not be an Ivy League university, but select one that would also suit your budget needs. There are plenty of courses being offered, so you need to plan ahead of time. Certain courses have specific subject requirements that you will need to have before you can gain entry to the course. The job you should seek once you have your academic qualification not only depends on your interest and passion but also the job availability. Bear in mind that certain traditional jobs may no longer be in demand in the near future, such as bank tellers and cashiers. This is because many low-level jobs will be automated in the future. The careers that will thrive are firstly the medical field. It has a tremendous number of openings. It not only includes doctors who will always be in high demand, but also nursing care, particularly home care, as we now tend to live longer. As a result, we will need a lot more healthcare. The second field 
in high demand is IT in medicine. A lot of doctors' offices are getting automated. There is a machine in Stamford that is called Da Vinci that can even perform a surgery without the need for you to be there. For example, the patient may be in Sarawak, but if the specialist doctor is in Kuala Lumpur, the surgery can still be performed remotely. In the non-science related fields, will also undergo some changes in terms of demand. As most of the jobs will be automated, the creative industry is expected to thrive. Although we have artificial intelligence, it is not that developed yet. It cannot create awesome photographs and videos, cannot edit videos nor create text. Thus, bloggers, photographers, YouTubers, content creators will have a good future as demand is always there for these creative jobs. If you are not that creative and like meeting people, instead, you may want to consider a career in sales and marketing. Although there is so much technology that has automated sales, people are looking for more individual care that chatbots cannot provide. Salespeople have excellent people skills and if you are definitely cut out for it, you should go for it. The non-monetary benefits of such a career far exceed the monetary benefits as you will have flexi hour and lots of other perks. If you are interested in certain skills such as careers in the food or programming industry, you may want to be highly skilled in certain areas. Although the processes in the food industry are getting highly automated, such as coffee machines that dispense hot piping coffee at the press of a button, sandwich makers that produce cheesy grilled sandwiches. There is a new trend among people who are making more money. They spend less time cooking but more time going out, caring about what they eat. So, nutritionists, good cooks, and people who can create amazing dining experiences are going to be in high demand. Developers, such as app developers, software engineers and programming experts or whatever jobs that are related to coding and creative online products will also be in high demand. There are still industries that are merging. There will be a high demand for a lot of professionals who can do that. These are well-paid professionals and you need at least a bachelor's degree. As for the teaching profession, 
although there are robots, it will never become obsolete too. More people are into learning new languages and new skills. Traditional classes where curriculums are set by someone else are slowly fading away. It is highly likely that people will not attend standard schools or standard universities. They may skip certain stages and focus on obtaining skills such as a one-year course in photography or designing and go straight into workplace to get real life experience. Although teachers will be in high demand, online education is gaining popularity. Hope you now know more about the kind of jobs that will be in demand in the near future and will be able to decide on your career path. If you plan to pursue a course in marketing or sales, then hone your sales skills through online courses such as those offered by Skillshare.com. Thank you and have a great day. Are you ready to study the questions? Look at question one. Answer is B. The target audience is students. They have yet to obtain jobs, so they can't choose their jobs, but the courses that will eventually lead them to choose their jobs. Look at question two. Answer is B. Yes, you got it right. One needs to decide on a group of similar occupations that require related qualification or skills first before deciding on the institution and the budget. Next students, look at question three. Answer is C. Courses have certain specific subject requirements. If students plan to pursue a certain career, they need to study a certain cluster of subjects to fulfill the requirements. Hope you got that answer right. Now, are you ready? Look at question 4. Answer is A. Job availability. If one has the interest and passion, but the job is not available, there is no point in pursuing that career. And finally, look at question 5. Answer is B. A student may be naturally suited for the job in sales as the personality is people-oriented. Today, we have learned about certain jobs that will be in high demand in the future. Remember, as you listen, Take note of the key words and phrases 
found in the text. Usually, the questions are sequenced according to the order of the content of the audio. All the best and continue to do your best. This is me logging off as Madam Jai. Bye!